Woohoo! Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm back. Been a little while. I've been busy. Whew! It is hot here in Washington. I tell you what. Uh, so a little bit of an update video for you. I don't know that I'm gonna get much done in this video. It's probably gonna be more me jacking my jaw than anything. Uh, but I want to get you guys caught up on where we're at. So, as you can see here, the hood is on. Uh, don't think that that means that the engine is in it yet. But, I got the hood put on and I will... I will show you why the hood is on in a minute. If you guys remember way back... Uh, in a previous video, I had a couple exhaust manifold bolts broken off in the head. Uh, I think there was, well, there was a couple per head, and I was able to get all of them out except for two, one per head. Well, I bought the little Harbor Freight Titanium 125, 125 welder, uh, and I was able to get those things out. So, I can throw the exhaust manifolds on the motor now, which is still sitting on the stand, but will soon be in this car. Uh, the other issue that I'm having is with this bell housing, and they use a Torx bit to put these things on. It's like a T50 or something. And I got all of them out except for one. I don't know if you could see that one right there. And I have tried to drill that thing out. I have tried to weld all kinds of stuff to the thing and I cannot get it out. So I'm still working on that. And then the bell housing that needs to go on this transmission is still attached to the transmission that came out of the donor vehicle. And I've been successful in getting all but two of those Torx bolts out. Those things are in there. Man, I don't know how many of you, if any, have ever tried to separate a bell housing from a transmission. And this is the 4L60E transmission. It's a bear. It's a bugger. It Those things are freaking in there. So I'm just going to keep working at it and try to get those things out. Uh, something else that I've started. Come with me on a little journey. <clears throat> We're going to go over to my makeshift paint booth here. And you'll have to forgive me. There's not a whole lot of light in here. But I've started some body work on the bumper. Uh, this thing had a big crack in it right here. Then there's a couple other areas where it needs to be repaired. Uh, I wasn't originally going to keep this bumper. But trying to find one is proving to be uh, extremely difficult. So I figure for now at least... I'll try and repair this one. So this is just a series of holes drilled in it. And then it's fastened together with zip ties. I mean, I think it looks top notch. I don't know what you guys think, but shoot, you can't even hardly tell. Uh, obviously, I'm just kidding. Uh, that's just to keep it together. And then I will uh, fiberglass it and whatnot. So... Yeah, I've been doing stuff out here on occasion. Um, now, something that took me quite a while was putting this hood on. The reason I put this hood on, I will show you the reason that I put this hood on. I went to the local pull and save here uh, a few weekends ago just to kind of kill some time and putter around and I came across something It's kind of jumped out at me big red flags. Hey, you want me? so I picked it up and I'll show you what that is now So we pop the hood with the regular hood popper It's 
Still got the same latch. So, front tilt. So, it's not 100% done yet, but the concept works. I still have to find some kind of a hook and latch system for back here because if you don't, the hood, it, it flops up and down. Um, but, I mean, it works. The concept works. Um, I'll show you what happens when you... There's big heavy springs on there, so it's a little bit difficult to do. So if I don't have some kind of a hook and loop deal, so I got to figure out something for that, but shoot, I have a welder. So I can pretty much do anything because I got a welder. Um, actually, when I was mocking it up, the hood slipped and bang on the concrete floor here. So now I got some body work to do there. The, the paint was cherry. I wasn't going to repaint it, but now, now I have to. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Just kind of moving along. I got the K member set up with the motor mounts. My LS1 motor mounts have arrived. So soon I want to get the engine at least mounted onto the K member. See if I can separate that damn bell housing. Get the new one on. And get this, excuse me, get this engine in the car. Um, also, I'm looking for a bunch of 5th or 6th gen interior parts. I'd like to put 5th gen interior in this. Center console, front seats, back seats. Um, the interior, like the seats are cloth in this. And I was just going to do like some cat skin leather seat covers but they don't make them that i can find for the fourth gen but they do make them for the fifth gen so i gotta try and find a whole bunch of interior uh even down to the steering wheel i would really like to put a fifth or sixth gen camaro steering wheel in this firebird obviously i'd have to do something about the camaro insignia but that's kind of the least of my concerns at this point. Um, sorry, there's not more for you guys. Uh, just wanted to do a kind of a quick update, let you know that I'm still here. I'm still kicking. I'm still moving along on this thing. Uh, the engine does run. I don't know if you guys saw that. I think I posted a short of it running. So I was freaking pumped about that and i'll just keep plugging away here and shooting some more videos for you uh and until next time guys thanks for watching that's the update we're moving along we're still here i will see you in the next one peace and i'm out